somebody once said there are two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes. But I actually think there's a third one and that is simply inflation. It's the invisible hand of the free market that likes to borrow your money but never give it back. We've seen its effects in 2021 where it seems like practically the price of everything was shooting to the moon. You have used car prices which typically go down in value actually increase in value of upwards of 37%. Housing prices jumped up 18%. Energy, gas, electricity, all up. Car insurance, medical bills, just everything you can think of. But fret not, in this video, we'll talk about five ways to either manage or benefit from rising inflation. Number five, change jobs. Changing your job, whether that means moving from one employer to a competitor, is one of the best ways to ensure that your salary keeps pace with inflation or possibly beats inflation. This is because if you change jobs on a regular basis, you have a greater chance of increasing your salary well past the typical one to 3%, but instead you could potentially get either 4% to upwards of 12%, depending on your industry, your skills, and your level of experience. If you do this annually or whatever frequency is comfortable for you, you stand a better chance to beat inflation because instead of getting a one to 3% salary increase, which then just gets eaten up by inflation of four to seven percent you easily beat inflation long term number four own a house and own a rental it is no breaking news that real estate is where you want to be if you want to be financially secure it is a single constant means by which people are able to increase their net worth over time and yes I know right now real estate is super expensive however it was also super expensive five years ago and five years before that real estate will always continue to be more and more expensive and the reason why it's expensive and the reason why it will always be expensive is because it's a real tangible commodity that serves a real tangible value so if you're currently renting right now your top priority should be to try to save anywhere from 3.5 percent to 10 percent of the purchase price of a property and I think you can do it so for example if there's a property that's selling for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars you can possibly save five percent of that which is going to be $12,500. And with as little as $12,500, you can control something that's worth $250,000. And there's different ways you can try to go about doing that. Move back in with your parents or family and have it be a win-win situation where you help them help you. Definitely look at reducing your expenses, whether that's stopping shopping on Amazon, whether that's cutting back on subscription, whether that's cutting back on eating out for lunch or dinner, whatever it takes, do a complete gut check of your expenses to make sure you only spend on things that bring you real meaningful joy and value in your life and before you know it you can come up with 3.5 to 10 percent of the purchase price of your next property and if you already have a house consider still saving another 3.5 to 10 percent to buy a new house and then rent out your current house right now. And the benefit of all this is that you now start to benefit from inflation. As inflation increases, your property value increases. As rents increase, your income increases. Number three, refuse to spend. The idea is that with high prices out there, by you continuing to pay those high prices, you're sending a signal to the economy that you're okay with those high prices. Instead, if you refuse to pay those exorbitantly high prices, it'll send a signal to the economy that we are not interested in paying for those high prices. And over time, it'll self-correct and prices will fall back again to a reasonable level. But definitely the objective of the game is to try to evade inflation by refusing to spend money on high prices. Number two, buy and own dividend paying stocks. I hope it's definitely no shock to say that having a savings account is financial suicide if you depend on that interest from that savings account. Typically savings accounts will give you 0.01% and if you're lucky you get upwards of 0.75%. If you balance out with inflation being anywhere from 4% to 7%, you're overall losing a negative 4% interest rates on an annual basis. So in effect, you're practically paying money to save money while getting nothing in return. I'm definitely not saying to shove your money in your mattress or your walls. Instead, what I'm saying is to open up a brokerage account and buy companies that you believe in or buy exchange traded funds or ETFs. Uh, and the benefit, of course, is that now you start to earn interest that keeps pace with inflation and sometimes even beats inflation. And these stocks and ETFs will tend to grow with inflation year over year. 
and number one, the best way to beat inflation is to invest in you and corporate. Value originates from people. We are the ones that assign value to things. And the more that you know, the more you can do. And the more you can do, the more value you can create. And the more value you can create means worrying about inflation less of a major concern. So consider adding a side hustle to what you're currently doing, whether it's creating content, whether it's using your long lost talent to start up a new business, joining a mentorship or a mastermind group to learn more about different subjects, learning a new skill or trade. Definitely be keeping an open mind to how to your current lifestyle, your processes that you follow, whether it's managing your expenses or managing your income, managing relationships, managing how you do things currently at work, whether it's going back to school to get new certifications or a degree, whatever it is investing in yourself allows you to grow with inflation because it allows you to create a better stronger you do you know of another way to beat or fight inflation go ahead and comment below and as always if you found this video helpful go ahead and hit the like button my name is Solis Code check out my other videos